Well, today is my first day at Houston Camera Co-op. Uh, I'm here actually just learning the ropes and uh, checking out all the cool stuff. Some of it I never knew even existed. We're going to look at the robot today. It's going to be awesome. Do hey. Hi! You need some film? This is Matt. Uh, yes, I do. All right. So this is a, a robot? Oh, That's pretty That's interesting. Can you tell me the backstory, but say it again because that would be good for, uh, for the video. Um, now I don't know if I've got my history on these truly perfectly correct. Right. But if I remember correctly, these were originally designed for the uh, German Luftwaffe, mm -hmm. the German Air Force, and um, they were the first automatic advance film cameras. So you would wind your spring, and then you would push the button, and it will automatically advance you to the next frame. That's now, awesome. They were designed so that a pilot could hold them out the window with one hand while still flying the stick with the other and shoot potential bomb sites or whatever else they need military intelligence on. That's cool. And you got like two or three of them, a yep. junior? They're uh, a different generations. I think this is the earlier one where it's just the robot. Mm -hmm. And then I don't know where the other guys fall in the robot junior versus the robot two star. And then the other thing that makes these things a little bit interesting mm -hmm. is they don't quite shoot a full 35 millimeter negative size, but they're not quite half frame either. They, they shoot a square format, so they're one of the few 35 millimeter cameras that actually shoots square. That's cool. Yeah, so unusual frame size, I guess. Huh? Mm -hmm. That's true. <laughs> I'm long I'm, fills up the chamber. I'm cool. almost bo I told Matt earlier. I'm almost positive there's a beer in the chamber right now. It's exploded. <laughs> hey, we, need a we need a button maker. A button maker. Yep, yeah, just a fancy box. Oh, this is for one of the uh, Kodak Ektars. And this is the one of the autographic. This is a little. A like little tool that you would use to scratch onto the back of the uh, emulsion so that it would, you could put your date and your other stuff on it. Got a little wow, talk about old school. <laughs> Very old school. These go back probably late 1800s, early 1900s. That is nuts. Hey, hey, it's awesome. always sunny. Yes. Camera co op. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so I enjoyed my first day out at uh, Camera Co op. Got to meet a lot of people. I didn't really do the formal introduction today. I know it's kind of weird, but uh, some of the people were like, eh, I'm not sure about this camera thing, so I'm trying to work them in slowly so they you know, get used to this idea. Uh, but uh, Holly, Dave, Matt, uh, Jeff, and Chris are the five that I work with today, and uh, it was good. So I'm going to go back tomorrow and continue on and see what happens. Uh, anyway, I'm starving, and so I'm here at uh, Laredo, and uh, I'm going to give you some of the best $2 tacos in the area. So uh, that's it for today. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.